NFT stands for non-fungible token. Fungible means something is able to be exchanged or substituted and will hold the same value. It's interchangeable, like the dollar, gold, casino chips, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or frequent flyer loyalty points. If I lend you $10 cash and you return to me two $5 banknotes, I'm fine with that because even though they are different, they hold the same total value. They're fungible. So non-fungible obviously means it's an asset that can't be substituted. It has unique attributes that make it different from something else in the same asset class, like a painting, a theatre ticket, a house, a video game skin, a trademark, or a crypto kitty, which was the first real use case to take off on the Ethereum blockchain in 2017. Some of these assets are physical and tangible, and others are digital and intangible. So NFTs are non-fungible tokens. Token refers to a digital certificate stored on a secure distributed database called a blockchain. So NFTs are digital assets, publicly verifiable intellectual property authenticated on a blockchain. A popular place to currently browse a variety of NFTs is on OpenSea.io. It's an exciting space. I believe the NFT space will continue to grow in the coming years with some popular use cases being digital art, virtual land, gaming, collectibles, finance, and much more. I thought this was worth explaining because I think we'll be talking a lot more